Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and to another review. Today I'll be talking about The Secret Speech by Tom Rob Smith, which is a sequel to Child 44, which wasn't only a huge, huge bestseller, but also a book that I really, really loved. It's one of the best modern thrillers I've read. It's fascinating, it takes place in a very dark and interesting time of history, one that I usually don't read about, and according to my Ukrainian mother, it's also historically very accurate. But we're not here to talk about Child 44 again, so let's talk about its sequel. The Secret Speech takes place in the 50s in the USSR and picks off a very short time after the events of Child 44 had ended. By the way, this will be a good time to point out that if you did not read Child 44, reading The Secret Speech will kind of be a spoiler. They don't reveal the twist ending of Child 44, nor do they discuss the events of the first book, but you do see the outcome of these events in this book, so just beware. Anyway, our protagonist is again Lev Demidov, ex-KGB, now working after Stalin's death as um, a homicide detective because the nation is willing to accept that murder exists. But the country is in turmoil because the new head of state, Nikita Khrushchev, is giving this secret speech where he condemns Stalin's actions and pretty much um, turns the country's ideology upside down. And when someone starts publishing this secret speech, it exposes many people who did terrible things in the name of loyalty to the country, people like Lev. And this leads to many crimes, murder is only one of them, and when Lev realizes that his family is in danger, he goes to great feet and does really remarkable things to make sure that they are safe. Where shall I start with this one? It was disappointing, very simply, and not just as a comparison to the wonderful phenomena, which was Child 44. I just honestly don't think The Secret Speech was a very good book. My habit is first to talk about the positives before I talk about the negatives, so I'll try to wreck my head and find some. So here we go. As a sequel, this was a very nice continuation to Lev and his family's situation. He and his wife had a certain arc in the first book and they made decisions at the end and here comes the aftermath. They didn't ignore what happened in the first book and I find that this continuation made sense to the characters. Also, as far as I know, my mother did not read this book, but I can only assume that Smith did his research and the historical accuracy is as good as in the first book. It's not a time that you usually read about in mainstream pop culture that does not come from Russia. And I always like seeing thrillers combine interesting history in them. Huh, that wasn't so hard. But unfortunately, everything else, especially the structure, is not as good. I said structure, although I doubt the book really has one. If the synopsis I just gave the book uh, sounds odd, you know why. Things happen in the book, which leads to other things happening, and then other things just happen. Granted, thinking back, the structure also existed in Child 44. They ran away, got somewhere, did some investigation, and moved on. But in Child 44, first of all, it's all tied to one plot line, and they do have this aim of catching a killer. And second, they were on the run and it makes sense that they could not stay put for a long time. In the secret speech, I found it very difficult to point out the goal of the protagonist. Yes, there was a villain and you know that eventually at the end there will be in and confrontation. There isn't one, not really. Yes, there is kind of a reason to why things end abruptly, but the point remained that the book felt incredibly messy. The truth is that I really didn't care what happened in the book. I didn't care what happened to the characters, to the point that someone important died and I didn't care. Since I didn't feel like Lev has a target, like catching a killer like in the first book, I didn't really care what happened to him. I think there is a plot twist or the end, maybe I was supposed to be surprised, but it came out of nowhere and it felt like I was given an answer to a question that nobody asked. Not to mention that this revelation marked the turn from the second to the last third of the book, so it's not even as if it was like a twist at the end of the book. You know what, let's stop. I don't see a reason to discuss this book any further. 
It was disappointing, it was aimless, it was messy, it has a good potential, but nonetheless, basically easily forgotten. There is a third book and part of me is curious to read it, but only if I can get it in a book exchange or something, I do not want to spend money on this. Not to mention that I made a promise not to buy new books um, as long as I don't finish some of the thing that I got on my shelf. I did not forget about it. Actually, reading The Secret Speech was part of this goal that I set for myself in 2019. Anyway, Child 44 was a remarkable book. I highly recommend it. I did a review on it. It was one of the first reviews that I've ever did on this channel. The quality of the video is absolutely awful, but you know, it's out there if you want to watch it. Uh, but definitely, even my awful video was better than the secret speech, which I will be donating or giving away or something. And that's it for my review, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click like and also don't forget to share this video and to subscribe to my channel if you dare. Recently, it seems like I've been on a wave of reading not so good books. Let's hope that in the next video or in the next review, I will be gushing about a wonderful book. Until then, guys, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.